So we have learned about climate change caused by tectonic processes. Recall that the long-term cooling of global climate recorded by oxygen isotopes in 4M shells was likely caused by the continued chemical weathering of the Tibetan Plateau, which was uplifted when India collided with Asia 50 million years ago. Chemical weathering of the plateau progressively consumed the greenhouse gas CO2 from the atmosphere, reducing the strength of the greenhouse gas effect and causing global cooling. The benthic forams incorporate more oxygen-18 into their shells in colder waters, so the global cooling was recorded as an increase in delta 18 values in 4M shells, shown in this trend like this. Recall that the trend or the, the change in 4M shell oxygen isotope values is also a proxy for the total volume of ice on Earth. If we look carefully at this plot, we'll see that the appearance of continental ice sheets on Antarctica marks the end of the Eocene era, right here. But more importantly, it's also accompanied by a sudden increase in 4M delta 18O values, this jump uh, down like this. Remember that the axis here is flipped. It's also marked by an increase in the spread of delta 18O values that are recorded by 4Ams. Right? So if we look at the sort of overall spread, the vertical distribution of data points uh, prior to the appearance of ice sheets on Antarctica, we see that the total variation um, you know, prior to about 32 million years ago uh, was only about 0.2 per mil, right? so small variations vertically there on that axis. But after the uh, Eocene, after the appearance of ice sheets in, Ar in Antarctica, we jump to about a 0 0.8, almost one full per mil difference in oxygen isotope values, right? So the thickness of this band is, is increased to about one per mil difference. And then as we go further into time, uh, closer to the present, at the end of the Pliocene uh, era, the total change, the total spread in oxygen isotope values increase again. Uh, and here we see sort of right at the at zero million years ago, right at the present day, we've got about a two hole per mil difference in the delta 18O values recorded by uh, benthic forams. So in this section, we'll explore uh, so what is the geologic evidence for the appearance of ice sheets, be it on Antarctica or in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, we'll explore why ice sheets appeared on Antarctica first, uh, and then also such things as like what, what the ice record itself can tell us about climate change. So first to discuss the geologic evidence of ice sheets, I'm actually not gonna do that in a video. That'll just be some, uh, some text and some figures from your textbook that'll give you a general idea of what the geologic evidence for the presence of ice sheets on continents is.